Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Today I will be introducing the botanical collection from Shimmer and Shine Glam Dip Powders. I will be doing a mani with these today and I will be going over the colors with you. I am really happy with the way these came out. I added a little bit of bling. Um, one of these powders has real flower petals in it, so that's exciting. But before I get into that, I want to share something else with you that's really exciting. I contacted Liquid Layers and I worked with them to design a hand rust. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. You know, I'm always using the upside down bottle holders to rest my hand on, but they're just not, you know, made for that. <laughs> but now I have something that is, and it's perfect. I am excited to have this. Now, this is not part of their permanent line yet. This is just a custom that I ordered. So if you are interested in this item, you need to let Liquid Layers know. You can message them on Facebook Messenger. You can post in their group. You can, you know, I don't know, make it known that you're interested in this. Look at the difference, the size difference between the bottle holder I used to use and this hand rest. I mean, huge, huge difference. Now, my little pinky isn't waving out there in the breeze like, hey, what about me? All four fingers fit and I can rest my thumb comfortably too. Look at that. It's perfect. I'm so excited about this. So keep that in mind. If you're interested, let Liquid Layers know. I am super excited to have that in my arsenal. Now on with the Manny. In the Botanical Collection, there are six lovely colors and I've already swatched them out for you. So in a minute, I'm gonna show you the swatches, but there are foils and flower petals and glitter and it's just a beautiful collection. So without further ado, here are the swatches. And the colors are from left to right, Good Times, Allo There, Late Bloomer, Gilded Lilies, Midnight in the Garden, and Love Grows Here. I will be using Allo There, Late Bloomer, and Love Grows Here in this mani. So let's get into it. I will be starting off with Love Grows Here. It is a beautiful light pink with gold, very fine glitters. It is a beautiful, beautiful, shimmery, gorgeous color. So I'm gonna be doing that on hmm, my pinky and my thumb. And I will be doing a slight ombre at the tip of two fingers. So I'm going to dip three times in this color because it is somewhat sheer and I wanted full opacity. So despite the fact that I usually dip only twice with this particular color, I dipped three times, but you know what? It's such an amazing formula that it honestly did not make my nails very thick at all. And I was able to shape them up and file them very easily. So. And while I'm doing that, I just wanted to say, um, I want you guys to let me know if you think that this um, hand rust works for the videos. I mean, I'm hoping that it makes it easier for you guys to like see what I'm doing and to keep my hands still. And uh, yeah, I, I designed it with this in mind, obviously, but I think it will work for anyone who struggles like I do with you know, I just, first of all, I don't have the best eyesight. I have to wear cheaters. <laughs> I have bifocals, um, but I think my prescription has changed. And so I have to wear cheaters. I don't know if you guys call them cheaters, but they're reading glasses that you buy at like the store. <laughs> they're basically just magnifying glasses, right? So that's what I have to wear. But, um, I also just to have a shaky hand when I'm trying to hold my hand still. So I need the support. I need something that holds my hand up off of the table because my eyesight's not great. And my hand's shaky because, you know, I'm getting old. <laughs> but that's just that's just life. That's that's the way things go. But I need to make sure that I have 
tools that help me continue to do my nails because it's something I love to do. So uh, I was really excited that Liquid Layers was able to accommodate me. Um, so yeah, just let me know. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, this is my first time ever using it. So, um, you know, I wasn't really sure. It was a little awkward at times. Like, do I move it aside? Do I keep it in shot? Do I put my hand next to it? Do I, what, what do I do? <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. Don't worry. Because I really like using it. Um, but like for the ombre, it's like, what do I do? Do I put my hand next to it? Do I move it out of shot? Do I rest my hand on it? I didn't want to get all the powder all over it. I don't know. This is this is what I worked out. So you can still see what I was doing, I hope. Um, anyway, I probably should have moved it out of the shot. But um, I kind of like looking at it. So. <laughs> so obviously what you see me doing now is um, a tap ombre. Um, it's a very slight tap ombre. I really only put Love Grows here right at the tip. Kind of like an ombre French, kind of. Um, it's a very subtle, very subtle, but it's very pretty. In person, you can really see it, um, but hopefully you can see it in the pics too. But I really, I don't know. I just, it kind of made me think of initially when I had the idea of um, like succulents, how they're like green leaves with like pinkish and purpley tips, I guess. Um, so that's where the idea in my head came from. <laughs> I'm not really sure it translates, but it's still pretty. Um, aloe there is a, an extremely light green, and on me, it looks almost white. On other people I have seen it look a little bit more green. I think it depends on your skin tone um, and lighting, you know, but I don't know. It's, it's extremely light on my skin tone. Um, but... So it, it's a lot less green than I envisioned in my head, but that's okay. I think it still came out looking really pretty. Um, so I'm going to let you finish watching me. I'm going to do this. I alternate the colors three times and, um, and then I will move on to, I think I will move on to the flower dip, which is late bloomer. And it is a beautiful, beautiful powder that has lots of really colorful petals in it, but um, I will be back for that. Hey, if you guys hear raindrops, I'm sitting in my car right now doing this voiceover because I, uh, gave my daughter a ride to a job interview. She is a dog groomer and she is, um, you know, ready to move from where she is now. Uh, cause she kind of feels like she's learned everything she needs to learn about grooming from them. And she wants to learn from someone else so she is interviewing right now and she's been in there over an hour so I was like while I'm here why don't I do this voiceover because what else am I going to do sitting in the car so you might hear rain hitting the roof of my car because I'm sitting waiting for my daughter to get out of a job interview in the middle of a rainstorm so I'm going to let you finish watching me finish up this ombre and I will be back
Okay, so what you saw me just do was I encapsulated my ombre nails quickly and now I'm going to apply this beautiful flower dip by, um, well, I'm going to put it in a cupcake liner and I am going to lay my finger in it, but I'm going to move a lot of the petals aside because I think I'm going to do a placement because I find that that works a little bit better with things like this with large pieces in it, you know, chunky glitters, things with mylar, um, anything that could make the nail bulky. I like to um, either pour over or lay my finger into just the powder and then place the larger pieces because that leaves the nail a lot smoother and less bulky. That's just what I found works the easiest for me with things like this. So that's what you see here. I am doing two, I'm actually laying my finger in twice in I had moved a bunch of the larger petals aside, as I said, and then I'm going to use my tweezers to pull out the petals that I want to place. And uh, it's gonna take me a few minutes to do that, so I'm going to just stop talking because <laughs> I need to regain my voice. I'm getting a little bit <clears throat> hoarse. Now that I have all the petals placed where I want them, I'm going to encapsulate this in clear because I want to protect these very, very delicate little flowers. <laughs> um, they literally will tear apart if I file them. So I want to make sure that I have them completely covered by clear so that they are completely protected when I shape and file, which I am going to do off camera. However, I have had a couple of requests to film my filing and shaping routine, so that is something that will be in the works very soon. Um, in the next couple of weeks, I hope to get that recorded and uploaded, but I've got to catch up on a few other things I need to film first, so you'll have to wait a little while for that one, but not too long, I hope. 
Okay, now that these nails are all filed and shaped, I'm going to activate them and get them top coated. And while I do that, I just wanted to mention that today, Shimmer and Shine Glam Dip Powders is hosting a Botanical Manny collab. So, if you have a chance to do your nails sometime today, do a botanical theme, post it on Instagram, and use the hashtag Botanical Manny so that they can find your post and there's a chance of winning a $20 gift card. That's really exciting, guys, because she has some gorgeous, stunning dips, as you can see. Oh, and I wanted to mention, all brands are welcome. You are not limited to Shimmer and Shine colors for this Manny collab. So go ahead and use whatever colors you have available to you. Um, just make sure that there's a botanical theme involved and uh, you have a chance to win. Don't forget to use that hashtag, Botanical Manny. All right. Now that everything is all activated, I am going to go ahead and give these babies a nice shiny top coat. Beautiful, nice and shiny. But what Manny isn't complete without a little bit of bling? So I'm gonna add a couple of little stones on two fingers, my ring finger and my index finger. And I'm not gonna talk through this, guys, because um, you've seen me do this before. So enjoy, I'll be back.
Okay, so there is something a little different that I have to do with these gems. Um, mostly it's the caviar beads. I have to apply a little bit of the no wipe top coat over the caviar beads because they are pink. And what I discovered while doing my other hand is that that color wears off and it bleeds and it's not nice. It doesn't look good. So <laughs> I discovered that if I covered it with some top coat and cured it, that didn't happen and they're protected. So I don't put any on the gems, just on the caviar beads. And that's what you see me doing here. So I just thought I'd explain that because I didn't want you guys to go, what is she doing with that brush? Um, yes, I am covering the caviar beads very carefully with a very tiny brush because I don't want to get any of the top coat on the gems because it'll take the shine away. So there you go. All right, I've yammered enough. I'm going to do the same thing on my other finger. And they're done. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love the bling. I think that's my, like, I don't know. It just, it kind of highlights that middle nail. You know, it's like, it's like, uh, I don't know. Like, just a beautiful little frame for those beautiful little flowers. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, don't listen to me. I'm tired. It's late. Um, so cuticle oil. As usual, it's always important to keep those cuticles hydrated to keep our nails healthy. And yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me while I do my nails. I love doing this for you guys and I hope you are all enjoying it as well. And I just wanna say a quick reminder, I am gaining on that 1K. I am at Nah, 898 last time I checked subscribers and once we get to that 1k mark I will be having a huge fantastic awesome giveaway so if you're visiting and you have not hit that subscribe button yet please consider doing so because it'll help me out and I would really appreciate it um, and I will be happy to show my appreciation with this giveaway I have planned so thanks again I look forward to seeing you in my next video, which will be coming up very soon. Take care of yourselves, and I hope you all are enjoying your summer. But stay safe and come back and see me again real soon. I've got a lot of fun things planned, so you don't want to miss it. Bye-bye now.